What's up, reprobates? I thought I'd hit y'all with this one, man. I forgot to load this uh this uh shell. Forgot to load this slug in the chamber. So I guess it got lost. I dropped that shell, so I'm re-recording this one. The fine pup pictured in the thumbnail of this video, which is my latest video, is Bear Trap McCoy. And um, this is a fine animal. He's a pit bull, American pit bull terrier, bred off a well-known game dog. Bear Trap McCoy was a five-time winner. He is off the McCoy line, which uh, consists of the Niblets, dogs, and such. This line was also continued through the breeding of the watchdogs. So a lot of the watchdogs are branded and tagged and were actually registered given the McCoy name as well. So this is a fine line of dog. Now, I know you reprobates. I'll talk about you. I'll talk about you, reprobate. Now, I know you reprobates and say, there's no such thing as a big brain pit bull. It's a bull, massive. This, that, and the third. But, um... Bear Trap McCoy was a five-time winner, and this fine pup I pictured in the thumbnail of my latest video that I'm presenting to you at this very moment is a, uh, was a very sought-after dog. He was one of the best big breed pit bulls to ever cross the scratch line. So he's also pictured on APBT online pedigrees. So I don't know how I missed this one, but um, here he is. This is Bear Trap McCoy. He was line bred. The continuing the line breeding of this fine specimen went through uh, the McCoy dogs and the Watchdog do dog and the Watchdogs through Rowdy McCoy. So if you have, may have seen, you reprobates, as you probably have seen, in the um. The Chaos of Illinois video, the gentleman was showing you some of his watchdog and McCoy breedings because it made sense. Next time I hear you reprobates talking shit about my big breed pit bulls because I do the game dogs, so I have a fine, um, what you guys call a smaller game dog. She's a fine specimen. I won't reveal where um, I obtained her from. But uh, I will let you know she comes from the boot. She is a Patrick. She is line bred Patrick's Homer through through the Sendai dogs. Heavy Indian Bolio on top. On the bottom, she's made a Hollinsworth. Well, my pup already is about 23 pounds. Just entering um, the four month old stage. You know what I'm saying? I think she'll take after the Mayday dogs. You know, like Deadlift, Barracuda, Haunch, those dogs. She got ears like Hollisworth Dolly and Mayday's uh, Southern Kennels, Miss Dolly. So it's good blood in her. So I'm not knocking the smaller dogs. I told you guys, I told you reprobates, I was going to get me a small gang dog. You know what I'm saying? But. I just had to get one with that block head. I can't have my dog running around with a lead pencil head. You know what I mean? But getting back to my point, um, the big breed pit bull does exist. You guys cannot deny the records and the work these dogs put in in the woods, in the pits, and in these uh, other competitions that we like to uh, test our dogs through. Next time I hear y'all reprobates up here speaking that nonsense and misconceptions, I'm going to sick bear trap. I'm going to sick my boy bear trap on y'all. I'm like, I'm going to be like, hus, hus, get him, get him bear trap, get him. But again, take a fine look at this animal. Take a fine look at this animal as you will see the pedigree. You can, as I picture the, uh, the picture, the pedigree 
his pedigree pick up, you'll see the uh the fine um I'm gonna say there was an organization, the fine kennel that handled this dog and continued the breeding of the uh the watchdog McCoy dogs through Rod and McCoy. So it is what it is with me. So if you wanna in your puny K9 mind want to say this dog was bred with a bull mastiff, then that's your ignorance and clowniness. So no polo, no polo on my body today. No Tommy Hill figure. I'm doing the lead, uh the tiger apparel for today. For today. I get it, you reprobates. Another time.